Raleigh Romero versus Tank. <laughs> yeah. Push the weight in the flex, flex. The live is one in the six. Yeah. With the runner boy, you nigga, no question. Yo. You ain't run a motherfucker high stepping. Yo. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey. Motherfucker never learned your lesson. Right. Yeah. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Woo. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Uh, 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 I mean, they walk the drink blood things out. Full moon, motherfucker change like a hoe. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan, Bronx on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Um, I heard the brother Blue Blood talking about this. I heard it's supposed to be, uh, according to him, it's supposed to be signed in December. This will be probably the last time you see Rolling Romero in a long time. It's going to be exciting because he's going to run a tank. The tank is going to take him apart and eventually end him badly. Um... Let me read to you some quotes. He was on the, the Port Away podcast. Um, Roley says, this is why boxing is dying. He, he, he feels what he's doing is entertaining. In my opinion, before I read to what he said, um, in my opinion, for you to be somewhat entertaining, what you're doing has to make sense. Roley's behavior is just erratic. He's not a big enough star for people to care about what he's doing. If I turn on the internet and like go to social media and I hold up the phone and Floyd Mayweather is sitting down saying, yeah, you know, I'm not interested in boxing. I'm just going to do only fans. Everyone's going to say, well, damn, why is Floyd saying that? Because everyone knows who he is. But you call him a turn on the phone and hold it in front of a random person and say, yeah, you, you see this little kid sitting there and tell me, yeah, man, I just want to do all these things. I don't want to box you. I don't know who is this. Um, people have to know who you are to be entertaining. Especially in the line of work that you're in, Roly. This is not opinion. It's fact. It's fact. You're not known enough to be entertaining on that level. Even Jake and Logan Paul had to do some work for people to know who they are. And now they're the YouTubers who've gone into boxing. You're the boxer trying to do and say weird things to get attention. And that's not smart. It's, it's annoying. Maybe if you spent more time focusing on your craft, you won't look as sloppy in the ring as you do. You look sloppy. Your game, well, are you? Did you not call out Devin Haney? Where's the trolling involved in that? You called out Devin Haney, you called him all kind of B words and called him and his dad out his name. They sent you a contract. No. Nope. And now I see why. I'm figuring Floyd Mayweather says, no, if um, my guy's going to get his ass kicked, it's going to be someone that I have direct control of. Feeding the tank. He's not feeding him the tank because it's going to be a good fight. He's feeding him the tank because it's going to be a good showing for tank. Y'all got to let me know in the chat who you think wins this fight. Tank knocks him out. It's going to be ugly. He's going to run at him. He's going to try and muscle him and headbutt and everything else and try and wrestle him. And this guy's going to eat an uppercut of throwback Mike Tyson proportions. And it's going to be a fun fight to watch. But that's going to be exciting. And Roley, your marketability will go up off of that loss because I'm not picking you to win any part of that fight. Your marketability is going to go up because you're going to be the guy that Tank put on the highlight there. Now, what you do after this fight is entirely up to, up to you. But all the trolling in the world ain't going to get you out of that. See, when you troll, you might want to back it up in the ring and walk away with a win. Trolling looks bad 
if you get slept in a boxing ring. But if you get slept in a boxing ring and walk away with 10 million, or if you came from the mud like the Paul brothers, and they walk away with millions of dollars after if they get eventually slept in a ring, it's a win for them. Roly, you're different because you're a professional fighter. We kind of put you on a pedestal and you're supposed to act accordingly. All this erratic behavior that you're doing outside of the ring, I don't particularly care for. But, you know, I'm 45 years old. I don't particularly care for that. People in my age range don't particularly care for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to see what you do in the ring. You're talking, but let's see what you do in the ring. How you going to look against Tank? We've seen Tank back up everything in the ring. He don't troll like you do. Roly, you don't reserve the right to troll and turn heads. Let me read what you said on uh, Sean Porter's podcast. I believe that's Sean Porter's podcast. He said, that's why boxing is slowly dying. It's whatever it is. It's a bunch of boring fights where everybody knows who's going to win. No knockouts. None of that stuff. Nobody wants to sit down and watch an effing thing. An effing 12-round fight where nothing is happening. For you to be a professional, Roly, you ought to be ashamed of yourself for that statement right there. For you. Because I know you trained for 12, right? I don't know, because when you got on the scale, it said 181 or something crazy like that. But I'll read on. He was asked to elaborate about boxing's diminishing appeal. Uh, he, believe, he believes many viewers have left it for alternatives. He says, I feel like it's dying, he said. I feel like a lot of our fans crossed over to MMA. First of all, um, a mixed martial arts fan and boxing fans is apples and oranges. In MMA, there's so many different ways to lose. Boxing, it's pretty almost two, two ways to lose. You either get knocked out or you lose on the, on, on the cards. So it's two different audiences. You can't get a hardcore MMA guy to sit down and watch boxing and appreciate it. You can't get a hardcore boxing supporter to sit down and understand what these guys are really rolling on the floor doing because they don't get it. They don't understand that they're getting put, getting put position and trying to catch an arm or a leg or you know, a key lock. They don't understand that. Just like people don't understand, why are they just standing there staring at each other with their gloves up? It's a chess match. They don't want to make a mistake and get caught because they know what their opponent is going to do. But if you understand that, that excites you. Chess is boring to a person that doesn't understand it. You're standing there looking at two guys staring at a board at sometimes for hours, unless you're a grandmaster. You're like, well, what if this isn't exciting to them? They're trying to outthink each other. You see, come on, man. Come on, Roly. You're a professional with the mindset of a casual. Well, you're trying to understand it. Listen, don't try and understand the casuals. You do understand the casuals are worth money. That you understand. That part you understand. But you still got to do something. You got to perform in the ring. He says that at least an MMA fight, if it's boring, it's over a lot quicker. Fine. I'll tell you, as long as I stay in the sport, the sport is going to stay a little bit entertaining. I'll find a way to make it entertaining. Some, some way, somehow... Just my personality alone is good for boxing. It's good for boxing when people know who you are, Roly. No one knows who you are but us. You're not a household name. How about get some wins and turn some heads and say, oh, yeah, I know that kid. And then start with your shenanigans. I get what you're trying to say. I just disagree with you. Um, I believe every little thing I say, say, remember, does it motivate me? Well, yeah, because I don't want to look like an effing idiot. Too late for that. And the funniest part is when you're a weirdo and don't understand that, that you're a weirdo. Roly, you're a weirdo. You, you, your voice is weird to me. You're a little dude. And when you're being compared to Ricardo Mayorga, 
And shout out to Ricardo Mayorga, but when you're being compared to him stylistically, it's really not a comment. That's not a compliment, man. He said, the thing about me is I go after things that other people don't want to go after. Like what? Going after people's tolerance? Because you're a threat to tolerance. It'd be different if you was performing well in the ring. And I'm not talking about the results, but so much. You look disgusting doing it. You look, you look like you haven't perfected your craft is what I'm saying. So if you look like you haven't perfected your craft, be silent. Work on your craft. And I'm not talking about cheese. You see, that was a cheesy joke. Huh? You think that's funny? That wasn't funny. Perfect your craft, but be silent. You don't come out here half-assing it, and just because Floyd Mayweather got your back, that doesn't mean you just run off and just start doing every all this crazy stuff to turn heads. I, I get it. I can't be famous, so I'm going to be infamous. Roly, to me, you look like an ass whooping waiting to happen. That's what I see. You're an ass whooping waiting to happen. That's it. That's what you are. I'm not impressed, man. I'm not. I'm not impressed. Show me in the ring. You don't know, said all that about Devin Haney. The fight was there. What happened? Floyd yanked you by the collar. You know why he yanked you by, by your collar? Because like I said earlier, if you're going to get your ass whooped, it's going to be in-house. And now he's feeding you the tank. He don't think you can win this fight. You're an ass whooping waiting to happen. And that's what's going to happen now. So I'm asking you, Goldie, after this ass whooping, because Tank's going to whoop your ass. After this ass whooping, what are you going to do? Are you going to fail forward? Because that's what you're supposed to do. Now take that ass whooping, because it's coming. If this fight happens in December. It's coming. What are you going to do next? Because people are going to be like, oh, because now you're going to become the guy that got beat up by Tank Davis. You see, Tank is where you want to be as far as the stars and lights. Devin is where you want to be as far as career. You get what I just said? But nobody wants to be Roly, who hasn't done a damn thing, talking about you're only interested in OnlyFans. Get in the ring, perfect your craft, stop talking until you earn the right to talk. And while you're talking, Get a voice coach. That is crazy sounding like that, calling people all kinds of B words and stuff. You sound like that. Jeez. Wrong song there. Move!